what are your <coughs> assumptions, assumptions in terms of uh, <coughs> steel prices and raw material prices in 2011 and going forward? Yeah, uh, so we expect uh, prices, uh, average saving prices of NMK uh, to grow uh, by 14% in uh, 2011. 4% uh, in 2012 and 5% in uh, 2013. Uh, that is uh, the result of, uh, in our view, of uh, growing demand from the uh, construction sector because uh, uh, in uh, 2010 the main driver of the recovery of the uh, steel sector was the growing demand from uh, flat products uh, consumption, but we expect in the next uh, two or three following years. Uh, the construction sector to reach uh, pre-crisis levels and uh, the increase in demand will lead to increase in the prices. And uh, concerning the raw materials, we expect uh, uh, prices for cooking uh, coal and iron ore to rise by 10% in uh, 2011 and 10% in 2012 and uh, in the future in our model uh, we assumed uh, the increase in prices the same as the uh, projected uh, uh, kind of, uh, consumer price index levels. Denis Sitnikov, Capital. Well, thank you very much, guys. Um, well, I'm all, I'm all, everybody says vertical integration is good, so I guess I'm convinced I'm not going to ask you that one. Um, so we have a company that generated excess cash starting from 2012 uh, that have brilliant prospect and revenue growth. And, um, so what is what is the story in, in going forward in five years? Uh, how will you sell this company to invest? Is it the value stock? Is it the growth stock? How they will uh, be well going forward? Um, are they are they going to distribute this cash and the same this cash flow? Um, we think they're going to develop. Uh, if I'm a long-term investor, would you recommend buy a hold? Uh, well, uh, we think uh, that in the long term. Uh, the company uh, will spend uh, the exit uh, cash flow, uh, the exit cash uh, for. Uh, uh, diversification of assets and uh, we expect it uh, to uh, increase uh, uh, the amount of assets in the uh, Middle East and Eastern Europe. So we think uh, we uh, uh, look at the M&A deals as the core value driver of the company in the future. Next question, Richard. Middle East Egypt? Uh, Middle East, uh, no, not Egypt, but uh, uh, something uh, like uh, Iran, maybe like uh, Iran market. Iran? Iran, yeah. I guess. So, okay, so uh, we're going to, to uh, break sanctions and sell it to Iran. Uh, well, uh, we think that. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, well, we think <laughs> Russia still sold its rockets. <laughs> well, we think that uh, Russian company uh, have uh, the most favorable uh, position in Iran because. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, uh, uh, if a uh, US company would like to uh, enter the market, uh, they would have uh, huge problems. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 so, I'm more about the political uncertainty in Tunisia, Egypt, and that. Does that affect your assessment of the company's future? Uh, well, uh, yeah, we. Um, uh, I think that uh, this uh, political situation uh, can affect uh, all uh, uh, companies trying uh, to uh, enter the market, uh, but uh, 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 we hope the situation to stabilize in the long run period.